So Jerry, tell us about the first half of your race. How did things go for you and the team? Uh, I had a lot of sick dogs. Uh, it took me a while to get over that, and then I had a lot of uh, uh, wrist and shoulder injuries. I've been working steadily on that, trying to get it worked out of them. Uh, so far, I think I've dropped four dogs. I'm thinking about dropping the fifth one here. But, uh, other than that, it's been good. I can see what they say about the highs and the lows of the mushing because there's one time there I was ready to turn back, but knowing my wife would divorce me if I did, I decided to carry on. <laughs> and how did you find that 200 mile stretch between Pelly Crossing and Dawson City? Was that tough as a rookie to be in such an isolated area? I wasn't isolated. I had three other people traveling with me, so it was kind of nice that way. And uh, I'm used to traveling by myself 90% of the time anyway. So. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Okay. The workout was tough on me though, but yeah. <laughs> uh, it was good. Yeah. And uh, how was it arriving in Dawson City? Was it a bit of a relief to, to arrive for your 36 hour mandatory layover and a bit of a rest? Uh, very much so, considering that I woke up one time on the trails having my dogs looking at me because I was supposed to be running them. <laughs> and uh, I sat down on my sit down sleigh there and I something didn't feel right and I opened my eyes, which I didn't realize, I was sleeping and I had all ten of my dogs looking at me, and turned around looking at me. <laughs> so, I wondered what was going on, but uh, it was good to get here and get sleep. Yeah, yeah. So uh, four of you arrived in uh, pretty close succession um, coming into the checkpoint and, and we're expected to kind of leave uh, t four of you after uh, 10 o'clock and now it seems like there's been a shift of plans and maybe a couple of other mushers that may join the pack. So yeah. what's the plan for tonight? Uh, the plan is we're just going to travel together and take turns breaking trail because I don't think we'll have much of a trail left. Because if we travel singly we're going to not going to make it. So just by looking out there, it's going to be miserable as it is even with a group of people. So, and then we can encourage each other on to and try to keep going that way. Yeah. So you guys have all talked today and kind of put a plan in place? And uh, we've not really sat and put a plan in place. We'll probably do that just before we leave. But yeah. we've talked and said, okay, we're going to travel together and, and do this. We never really said, uh, we're going to do this or do that or do that type thing. Yeah. And so for you, you're able to leave as early as 10.16, but you'll delay your departure a little bit to, to stick a little closer to the group or head out there on your own and maybe slow down a little bit to well, let them I'm, get caught up? Uh, the other ones are a little bit faster than I am anyway, so I'll probably leave fairly quick around that 10.16 or around that area. Uh, DJ is not that far behind me, so I'll break trail as much as I can, and then probably DJ will catch up and I'll let him go by and... and uh, break trail because the guys behind us will be a little bit faster because they're not breaking trail. Yeah. And that way we don't have too much of a delay in time. Yeah. Well, it should be interesting. We're really excited to uh, see the, the five or six of you uh, head into head into the next stretch and, and we hope it goes very well for all of you. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Jerry. Thank Thanks you. very much.